हम भी तैयार हैं इसको कैसे खेलू मैं कैसे इसे खेलू मैं क्या बचाते हो यार है ना इसमें तो डांस होना चाहिए शोर हे हे रुक क्यों गए यार हे वंस मोर वंस मोर स्प्राइट रास्ता क्लियर है बच्चे तो जल्दी नहीं रहेंगे इसलिए उनके साबुन को तेज होना पड़ेगा लाइफ बॉय लिक्विड हैंड वॉश दी 99.99 परसेंट तक जरासीम से हिफाजत सिर्फ दस सेकंड में लाइफ बॉय सुपर फास्ट हैंड वॉश याद रखें अपने हर पाँच साल तक के बच्चे को पोलियो से बचाओ के दो खतरे जरूर दिलवाएं पोलियो को मिटाने के लिए मैं तो हर हद तक जाऊँगी आप किस हद तक जाएंगे पोलियो की अगली मुहिम तेईस ऐसी पच्चीस अप्रैल इसके पास गिटार है तो हम भी तैयार है इसको कैसे खेलू मैं कैसे इसे खेलू मैं क्या बचाते हो यार है ना इसमें तो डांस होना चाहिए शोर हे हे रुक क्यों गए यार हे स्प्राइट रास्ता क्लियर है यही है जीने का मजा <laughs> अब हर नए कनेक्शन पर पंद्रह सौ मिनट बिल्कुल फ्री वारे प्रीपेड बात बढ़ाए साथ आई विश दट ऑल माई कोलीग्स गो ओवर देयर फॉर दिस प्रोग्राम because uh, it will at least clear their perception yes and uh, it will clear you know whatever doubts they have about uh, the american system or the american people and uh, like you came over here you visited people you, uh, you visited okay. the families that's how it's done over there also you know it so i'm just sharing it with my viewers <laughs> <laughs> i think they're good views i would say the yeah. same about my experience here in pakistan yeah, yeah. what else do you do in the embassy Well, I mean, in terms of my job function, yeah, the job it, it is li- meeting with Pakistani Americans mm. every day to help them with any issue that that arises. Mm-hmm. Um, they lose passport, um, they have a, a new member of their family, uh, and it's meeting Pakistanis and speaking to them about the opportunities in the United States mm. um, to see where they want to travel. Uh, but I mean, I really think that even outside of my day-to-day function. Um, I really tried to explore Pakistan life in terms of here in Islamabad. Cool. Second, so, hey, tell me one thing. Right. Financial concerns are all over the world. But uh, if they're like businessmen who are like interested in going over there and doing some trade, some business over there, and uh, they're like they're doing it for the first time, do you encourage them? Oh, we yes, we we have a method or a visa for businesses. Uh, business people who want to go to the United States and set up a business or invest in a business. Hmm. Uh, there's a clear method, sort of similar, I guess, to when you're going to go apply for a student visa or a tourist visa. It's still an interview. Hmm. There's still a certain set of documents you're going to need uh, or a certain criteria you must demonstrate uh, in order well, to What sort of documents are you talking about? Well, we need to see you know, financial documents. Hmm. Uh, we need to see... If you're going to invest in a business in the United States, mm. then we need to see that you have the financial ability to do so. Okay, there, there is somebody out over here. Okay. And uh, he is, or he's like, he's never done any business. Okay. But uh, he wants to invest in states. He has inherited uh, property. He has inherited some money. And he wants to do something in states, some business over there. And uh, but he doesn't have a background of business, so how how should he go about? You know, it's honestly it's so difficult to engage in hypotheticals mm. when it comes to businesses because everything just really depends on a lot of different variables. Yeah. And without knowing everything about this individual, their past, their history, their future, their family ties, um, their past business experience, it's hard for me to really give you what they would need to do. Mm. Um, and again, this is why I would encourage Pakistanis to be as prepared as possible hmm. to do their research, know where they want to go, and then come in for an interview. Okay, so whatever he or she wants to do, he, they should know that uh, we're going to invest 
here Correct. in this state in this business and this is what we have worked on and this is how it's going to be and these are the funds which we have inherited and this is a white money not a black money right <laughs> and the the the, the uh, but it's not a, uh, they're not going to be involved in money laundering or any sort of that thing so that's what they're doing so you will go, you're going to like encourage that transparency is very important transparency is always transparency important transparency is, transparency important. is always important so basically they should be well prepared you know? well prepared uh, to come in they should do their research uh, there's ways to go into each state that they would like to invest and even states have different rules for foreign investors who want to invest there. Um, I would encourage them to do the proper research, uh, decide if this is the avenue by which they want to go to invest, be prepared in terms of financial documents, in terms of, of, uh, of how much they want to invest in the United States, and, and come in uh, for an interview. We have lots of Pakistanis who right now have businesses hmm. in the United States. I get to meet them every week hmm. uh, when they come back and they tell me about the experience and what they do back in the United States. So um, I think any Pakistani speaks to some business people, men who are, or women who have gone to the United States, they'll see that uh, the research is needed for, for a reason. And that is important. Saga, tell me one thing. You, you, you're a diplomat, right? Yes, sir. And, uh, you know, new people had been assisting, you've been extending financial assistance to Pakistan. Little or more, I'm not talking about that, but you people had been like extending financial assistance to Pakistan, but people out there in the streets, they still don't have that, you know, thing. The people in the, in the houses, some people I'm talking about, some people on the streets, they are, they are not like, they don't like Americans. Why is it so? Is there, is there some flaw at your end or is there some flaw at our end? You know, it's so hard for me to answer that question because, hmm. uh, as I said before, I've had nothing but positive experiences here. Hmm. I mean, I really have had nothing but positive experiences. Honestly, I can't even tell you one time hmm. in my nine months being here. That's what I told you. Majority of the people right. in Pakistan do like America. Uh, I, I've never had a bad experience. Uh, hmm. It's hard for me to kind of say, hey, I've heard about this because personally, I just I haven't seen it. Hmm. Having experience. Uh, hmm. For me, jab main ek 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 Pakistani se milta hoon, to main shuru mein aur dumi baatchit karta hoon. Wo they start asking me, wo mujhe se bahut sabab puchte hain. And then I I tell them, I said, hey, I mean, what do what do they ask? They usually ask, how did you learn Urdu? <laughs> <laughs> That's always Hamesha. Kya se aap Urdu bol sakte hain? Kya se? And main 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 batata hoon ki Pakistani se pehle takriban art mahine ke liye. Ek school, a diplomatic academy, a school made of the Parahata. Rosana Takriban no Gante Kelly, a classroom, a classroom made or the Portata. TV deck data, or the Portata, or the Lictata, Takemir or the Better. And it's still, uh, I tell them, it's still a process. If you may Rosana or the Mibachi Abi, or the Mibachi Katan Takemir or the Better Hujai. It's uh, I think I don't understand how someone can go to a, another country without um, learning the language. And then when when I do that, then they start. You know, they they want to know. They want to know about my experience. What do I think? What's my what's my perception of Pakistan? Given the fact that um, I've been here for a little bit now, and that I enjoy meeting Pakistanis, and that I speak the language. Um, but wada katun ke. Most of the time, when I Pakistan, I want to learn Pashto. Pashto? Pashto. I want to learn Pashto as well. Um, it's very important for me also to learn Punjabi and Pashto. Uh, I think learning one language, I want to be able to learn Pashto, Punjabi, and Urdu, all three. Uh, because I think that Take me sub Pakistani case, or Bachi's case, I think. It's necessary. Pashto is like, you know, if, I, if I'm introducing myself, if, if I'm like starting my show, uh, I would say, Rana Mubashir, Taas wa khidmat ke hazir de. And that? And that is like, I am in your khidmat me hazir. Acha, okay. Rana Mubashir, aapki khidmat me hazir. Yeah, 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 <laughs> oh gosh. You know, all I know in, in Pasta right now is Sangay. 
संगे 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 जोड़ तगड़ा जान संगे राना संगे